We are in Kaluga and I feel like an excursion guide, although I know hardly anything about it, more than you know. So we are here for the weekend, as the name suggests, Weekend a Girl, by the way. Uh, we are now bound to go to the city centre, travelling a bit around, and then we'll go to sleep. But first, just a little bit of walking around the railway station looking for our tramway. Uh, that's how it looks like actually. Yeah, very nice. Finally, I'm with my selfie stick. And this woman, yeah, she's just gonna kidnap me, so don't be afraid. The first settlements appeared approximately um, two or three thousand years ago. The first known written mentioning of the city as it is named Kaluga settlement uh, was in 1371 and nowadays it is known as uh, the date when the city was founded. Yes, when we say founded, it's all a sort of speculation because nobody knows when it was particularly built. All we know is that it is built upon a car river and that it counts many, many years, approximately six to seven centuries. The, nowadays, this city is small, it is even provincial, although it is um, located close to Moscow. Now, that many people, not many tourists, although actually lots of Moscovites come here, because in Kaluga there is the first in the world, at the biggest in Russia, museum dedicated to the history of cosmonautics, uh, of cosmos and universe. Cosmos will have to wait a little bit longer, however, because right now we are going to the central square and the place which exists in every Russian city. We are at the city center. Right behind me, there is uh, the eternal flame dedicated to the unknown warriors who fell during the Second World War. This whole square is called the Victory Square. Uh, right behind me is uh, the statue of one of our greatest war leaders, uh, General Zhukov and uh, one of the key monuments which exist almost in every Russian city the monument to the motherland but enough about war let's look for some entertainment that's one of the oldest drama theaters in Russia Kaluga Drama Theatre was founded in 1777. Can you imagine? Last year they had their 240th season. The city is known for this theatre. It's one of the main tourist attractions and uh, it was actually built due to the initiative of the first uh, governor general, which is like mayor of the city. Uh, Governor General uh, Michael Krichetnikov. Uh, actually, most of the buildings here were built due to his financial aid or as a result of his initiative. But uh, the most important thing is that he was a great admirer of arts and he decided that his city deserved the best of the best and so he built this. Uh, first, um, production was played by invited guests from St. Petersburg which was very 
posh and cool at the time because as you might know if you studied a bit about our country that at the 18th century St. Petersburg was the capital of Russia so look at it feel impressed and enjoy the view nowadays however what Kaluga is truly proud of is the place it takes in the modern age of discoveries. I'm speaking about Cosmos. Now we are going to the Cosmonautics Museum to see the exact double of the very first rocket Vostok, the first which went round the Earth with our cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. On the left side there are some statues and monuments dedicated to people who spent some of their time or maybe the rest of their life here in Kaluga and this one is a monument dedicated to Konstantin Tselkovsky actually it is uh, built in remembrance of his life and death because he spent the rest of his life here in Kaluga until he died in 1935. Tselkovsky is one of the most prominent citizens of Kaluga and it shows they have a square in his name, a street and even a university. As you may have noticed, uh, this whole place, the whole city is actually centered around the cosmos theme and the theme of uh, discoveries and physics and all that you know stuff we don't understand but really feel fascinated with so just for your information that you have an understanding who was the most influential person in history uh, well with Korolev and Gagarin and you know all those wondrous uh, Russians who spent their life discovering the unknowns of the universe he is one of them all of it everything however would be impossible without one particular man right behind me is one of the most important monuments of this city because this one is in remembrance on the very first day when humanity could cross the barriers of atmosphere and reach into the universe. It is a monument dedicated to the very first flight of a human being in cosmos. And if you don't remember, you should remember that it was done, but our, our very own cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin who was the first man on earth to go into cosmos and fly around the earth just so you remember okay but speaking about Kaluga it is a city which is well known in Russian history not only for its science, for its uh, discoveries in learning about cosmos, but if we look about, I think 400 years ago, we would learn a shocking, terrifying story full of spies, intrigues, betrayers and worst of all imposters if you are interested listen up to me I'm gonna tell you a story of your life <laughs> 